Welcome users. This C content may help you to learn the statistical package in IDMS developed by UNESCO. See, UNESCO has developed various free softwares CDSISIS, WinISIS, Java CDSISIS, ABCD. So, like that, in that SQL. They have developed one statistical application named as WinIDAMS. See, running the statistical package need basic skills. The learners at least should have the fundamental skills in statistics and the application. Knowing the statistics alone will not help the learners to handle any statistical application. You must develop your skills in both statistics as well as statistical software. If you lack skills in any one of these parts, will lead you to generate wrong output. So make sure you have enough skills in statistic part and statistical packages. Win IDMS has various features. All the components have been built in an application form. When you create a new data set, it will be stored in application format. The application is the combination of dictionary, data, and one temp folder. The work related files will be stored in the work folder. WinIDMS gives you four windows dictionary window data window, control statement window and results window. These are the four windows important. These are the four windows available in WinIDMS. The dictionary window helps you to define the variables. The variable name, length and location type need to be carefully identified. If you wrongly identify the variable in the dictionary part, it will give a lot of problems at the time of analyzing the data. You can generate the right output too. So you must be very careful when you use the dictionary window. The data window helps you to transfer your data, whatever you have collected in for your research. See, the questionnaire based study contains various variables. They need to be transferred into the data part through the dictionary option. So, you must define dictionary first. Identify your variables with the guidelines provided by WinIDMS. The manuals are there. If you want to develop your skills, please go through the WinIDMS manual. It may guide you how to handle the dictionary part. The data entry need to be done very carefully. You can import the data from the text form or any one of the spreadsheet format. Else, you can feed the data directly into the data. 
the next window is the control statement window of course this is the complicated part where the learners may be embarrassed you need to write the scripts because like as other commercial applications if you click the result it will not generate the output if you want to generate the output you need to define the control variables and the dependent variables and the related codes need to be carefully written you need to practice to write the script without making errors in this part dependent variables and the control variables need to be carefully identified else the results will not be generated it will generate the result but you can get what you are looking for your demands may be differ from the results generated by the application these are the problems available in all the applications you must know which variable act as a dependent variable which is going to act as a control variable these are all the basic things then result window helps you to generate the result you can save it in a file form and it can be transferred into any one of the file. let me explain how to check the legal codes and illegal codes in the data entry see you are watching the screen where a sample 30 cases have been entered into the application see you are observing the sample variables the users attitude in the library the branch and gender the consortium services of course the user satisfaction with the consortium services the circulation section services suggestions made by users age and the time spent in the library these are the sample variables i have used in this application see you are watching the dictionary window where the variables and the type location everything need to be identified the missing data all the items we can define here the related codes may also need to be defined the next window you are observing is data window here see 30 cases i have entered here for sample purpose in the time spent variable i have removed the actual legal codes instead i entered the code which is an out of range actually in the time spent the times one hour two hours three hours are actually defined here i removed the one hour instead i have entered zero hours this is not actually available in the questionnaire I, for demo purpose i have entered the zero values here they act as uh, illegal codes the win idms control statement provides the future to check the legal and illegal values which have been entered by the researcher in the application see when we run the statement it gives the output where you can find three cases are identified with the illegal values see the variable numbers and the illegal value zero are displayed here the variable numbers are only displayed as the researcher i want to know which branch these illegal values are occurred now i again restructure the statement through which i can trace the branch name of the cases by which the errors can be fixed 
Now I am retrieving the branch names where actually the illegal values are occurred. See, the last part shows the branch name, chemistry, physics, and so on. All the branches have been displayed along with the variable identification numbers. See, here the variable numbers can be matched with the branches. So, in the three branches have identified with the errors. These illegal codes need to be removed and fixed. See, sample file contains only 30 cases. So, tracing the error would be easy. If you go through the record one by one, you can find the illegal codes. Just imagine you have 1000 cases, 2000, 5000. It is not possible to go one by one to check the cases. So, the checking future of the VNADMS help the researchers to trace the illegal values if anything is occurred. Before running the programs, if before taking the outputs, we need to check our data entry and we must be sure all, whether all the data have been entered in the right way or not. In the time spent variable, you can find how the illegal values can be traced. Like that, in all the variables, you can run the programs to check its validity. You ask the researcher, you must be aware when you handle the statistical package. Blindly, you cannot start your process to generate the output. You must validate the data, whether it has been entered in a right way, whether the codes are correct. For example, for the consortium services, to measure the satisfaction of the library users, three levels are given. To full extent, to some extent and to little extent, they are identified as the level codes 1, 2, 3. There may be chance for the researcher to enter the codes wrongly. These are the human level errors. Say, when we handle the packages, always two types of errors will be occurred. One error is called as human level error and another is system level error. See, we should avoid the human level errors. It could be possible. It is always possible when we are sure about our data entry. If we go through again and again these data entries, we can find the errors and that can be fixed. The system's error also can be traced. If the software is corrupted or the system is corrupted, we are going to restructure it. So, you should not make any errors in your data entry. So, the level scores need to be verified. Accidentally, the researcher may enter the codes 4 or 5. Instead of 1, 2, 3, they may enter any illegal codes. These are often cast at the time of typing. So, the codes need to be verified. So, this program may help you to check the codes, illegal values. Like that, in all the levels, that depends on the variable types. If it is the case wise entry, it needs to be carefully analyzed. Once you are sure, you can go through your analysis. But the basic step, whatever the analysis you want to perform for your research, the basic thing. Do not forget, you must verify the codes, whatever you have entered into the package. Not only in IDMS, you may use any one of the statistical application which is quite familiar in the market. So, whatever the package you are familiar with, verifying all the variables and the data entries are the basic things. 
don't forget the packages will give you a, any kind of output whatever the variables you want to analyze they will generate the results but you should have the capability to identify whether the results are rightly generated or not else it will spoil your results the quality of the research will fall down hope this will be helpful to you don't forget practice again and again and develop your skills in statistics as well as statistical application wish you all the best